Monroe Community College was founded in 1961 to address the need for more nurses in Rochester. Its founding board of trustees consisted of nine individuals, including Dr. Alice Holloway Young, Rochester's first African-American principal, who would later become board chair. Today, MCC is one of the most highly recognized community colleges in the nation, and Dr. Deanna Burt Nana is at the helm. She's the sixth president in the school's 60-year history and its first black president. I had the honor of meeting her and hearing about her new role. What do you do as, you know, president of MCC? I set the vision for the college, the priorities for the college, but I don't do any of that in isolation. It takes a whole bunch of people moving that forward. And it takes people trusting you, both the excellence you bring to your role and your ability to inspire other people to come alongside. Um, so yeah, my role is to make this a wonderful learning environment for students by hiring really good people that care and, and share the same passion for me and for our vision for the college. Could you like kind of like just briefly explain like what it means to be like the first, you know, black MCC president in 60 years? Every time I interact with someone from our community that celebrates me being in this role, um, celebrates Dr. Alice Holloway Young and how she trailed, uh, was a trailblazer as a founding member of MCC's um, our board. And so I met her for the first time last week and she just lit up, you know, to kind of see me and to tell me, I'm so glad you're here. And I wanted to let her know how much I appreciated that she made that possible. She said, no, you made that possible. But she's just so humble like that. But I do celebrate every time we as people of color can find our place, our spaces where the excellence that we do bring is, 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 is celebrated. Um, you know, I also think about it from the standpoint of where I came from and my family and how that courageous decision that my grandfather made to send my mother north and say, no, she's not going to pick cotton. She's going to be educated. Dr. Bert Nana says she often thinks about the impact of her family and how she's continuing their legacy. If my being in this role inspires someone to either continue a good legacy or break a mold of something systemic that's not serving them or others well, then that feels pretty good. What challenges did you encounter getting there and right now? Well, there, there are challenges every day. Um, and I'm a bit of an anomaly. I kind of stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, I'm brown in complexion and I'm female in fields that I typically don't belong or I don't have representation or people like me don't. Um, that I was really aware of that when I went to college. Um, and I went to college to study the computer science because I was always strong in math and science and I just, kind of found it fun to think about. And so it came kind of easy for me. Um, and then when I got in college, I learned some different paths to still work with computer technology, IT. Um, but you don't usually see girls doing that. Right. And, uh, but I did it anyway. Dr. Bert Nana got her first taste of being an educator when she began teaching a college course in computer programming. And I started or built a, a computer networking program from scratch for that college. Grew it into multiple sections of classes, tons of students, an icon program at that school. Um, and most of my students were white males. But because there was representation, I began to see more women thinking, maybe, maybe I can do that. Dr. Bert Nana joined MCC at a time when many students were struggling with the effects of the COVID pandemic on education. I came into MCC in May, and that was right at the time we needed to bring, start bringing people back on campus, bringing students back to learning, bringing workers back on campus, and not everybody wanted to come back. Um, and so we learned some things about continuing to provide flexible education, whether students want to learn in person or a bit of both online and in person or fully online. We do it all, so we make it flexible for folks. So it created a climate for innovation so we can start to think about doing some things differently. Dr. Bert Nana says she looks forward to making Rochester her home and making a positive impact on educational opportunities for students like me.